Why Arborville? Arborville has been my dream club from since I was a boy. Almost all of my family play for Arborville. So I just follow the trend. My name is Jeremy Lynch. I'm a centre forward. Uh, Vin Blaine, coach of Harborview Football Club. I'm a camera, attacking midfielder. This is Clifton Wall from Harborview FC watching Red Stripe Football Monday. The stars of the East were out of the blocks quickly and led the league in their first game on Red Stripe Football Mondays. They didn't disappoint, beating Sporting Central Academy 2-1 at home with a second half double from Damian Harwood. The Vin Blaine conditioned aggregation was relentless throughout the first round and they duly qualified for the first end of round final. In what was a surprise, Harborview were closed down and shut out by Boys Town. They eventually lost 2-0 through an own goal and another from Romeo Parks. The loss only strengthened Harborview's resolve. They didn't slow down much as they hosted Tivoli Gardens in the second round. The thrilling encounter ended one all with Hugh getting on the score sheet to salvage a point. Come January, and it was more of the same. Portmore United and Boys Town lurked but never got close enough. In another rare scoreless game in Red Stripe Football Mondays, Harborview hosted and drew nil all with Waterhouse. By then, the leaders had established themselves as clear favorites to take the title and were stretching their lead with almost every game. I have no friends on the field. You know, I picked the team based on merit. I picked the team, you know, based on their performance. Not, not in the previous game, but the way they, they conduct themselves in training. I demand that when I blow the whistle that everybody pays attention. I don't have people talking when I'm talking. You know, so it's, it's, it's a regimented approach, but it's also a fun approach. I try to give them our trainings are always fun, you know, I end, up, I end with a fun drill, you know, they, they, they bond, you know, it's more team building, a lot of team building carries on in my training, but also we do, the, we do pay attention to the technical and tactical aspect of the game. Damien Howard, it seems, well, let's confirm that, but what is unquestionable is that Harbour you are back on level terms, and yes, it's the number seven. In the second end of round final, the stars of the East were imperious, easily outplaying Cavalier. Goals by Joel Sr. at the start and Jermaine Hugh at the stroke of halftime enabled coach Vin Blaine and their fans to exhale. Not long after, Harborview recovered from their form and went on to win their fourth title. The relationship in Harborview team is right now is good, but you know, in every organization, you know, sometimes you have a little bump, a little ups and downs, but it's the way you deal with it. I, I look at the trends in football and the, the teams that are successful. I look at what they do, I look at how they, um, they attack, how they defend, and I take things from that. You know, of, of course, we have players here, we can't compare it's all players, but if, we, if I have the players that can fit into a, 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 a system, I, I tend to want to go that way. But I also I demand professionalism for my players and hard work. It's Red Stripe Football Mondays.